And this really stuck out to me just because I heard this earlier this week. The stuff you choose to be optional about is the stuff people do as a mandatory. So like some something as simple as like going to go for a walk for 30 minutes every day, that's somebody's mandatory, but you're treating it as it's optional. That's something I do. Like I treat posting as mandatory. Girl ain't getting no money. Girl ain't getting no credit. Girl ain't getting no recognition. Like it is what it is, but I'm posting as if, as if it's mandatory and I am getting paid for it. And um, some days I will say though, I treat it as optional. Like I'd be like, dang, like I missed it. Oh well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but it's just like, you can't keep doing that. You can't keep treating certain things as if it's optional if you really want to get somewhere that's all that's all i gotta tell you babe it's not that i'm over you Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Nakia, this is Business Owner Diaries. It's a little series I'm starting about, like everything I got going with starting my business. That's all, that's the tea. I wanna show y'all the ups, the downs, every little thing I'm doing. Today, and basically, maybe the next couple of episodes is all about to be about marketing. It's three o'clock now, it's Monday, November 13th. Long story short, we need to create a plan on how to market and not necessarily market in a way where I'm paying for all these advertisements and stuff like that, but just market that your girl is a graphic designer and I can do this and I can do like work like that. Let's try to make a plan. I have no like actual, how do you say, background in this, <laughs> but we're gonna learn. And so with learning, excuse my hair, I look like I really am giving 70s today, but um, <laughs> with the hair, I should have put on some earrings or something. Okay, anyways, excuse that. Girl, it's been a lot going on at home too, which is, another thing but i'm not letting it stop me i just posted this Ooh. Ah, i just posted that so cute i'm already getting so much love like uh. so i usually am the type of person that like i hide behind my business like i don't really be wanting people to know like it's just me or you're behind it or i don't know like it's just something about it always seems so I don't know, it just seems so unreal, like, I can't explain it, babe. It's a mental thing, it really is, but I'm getting out of uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm getting better at it, I'm getting more comfortable with, like, putting myself out there along with my business, if that makes sense. Like, being proud that I founded this, being proud that I have this business, like, um, I don't know, it was like almost like an embarrassed thing. Like it is hard for me to like bring it up to people. It's hard for me to just just know. It's been hard. So it's like, girl, how are you trying to do this and be shy about it? Like, girl, it don't work. So I'm getting out of it. And today was a sign of growth that I actually went through and posted that. Child, I don't know why they just started this right now. It's three o'clock. With that being said, I'm not gonna I'm not do, do too much talking right here, but let's go into our notion. If you haven't seen me talk about what um, notion I have and like how it works and stuff, please go to my following video before this and it'll let you know about like 
what, what it all is. I'll still link it in the bottom of this video, but it's so good if you're a solopreneur really trying to market your brand. You do it's literally for somebody doing a business like mine, quite literally. All right, so all right, we're in our marketing hub. Yeah, so this is a marketing calendar, and um, I basically want to fill it up. I know one thing for sure. I want to start posting more content where it's literally just me designing like the behind the scenes of a brand or like those short videos of putting like the brand in like a grid or a style guide or something like that. Um, just all of that type of stuff. Like I'm trying to get more comfortable with recording more. So that's why I've been sitting at my desk more so I can record it better. But also the light is weird. But anyways, um, I know for sure that's uh, like content I want to always be putting out on both of Fits All Agency and Nakia Pleasant Instagram. So with that, <laughs> with that being said, okay, let's duplicate this and just have a strategy brainstorm session. Okay, I'm gonna call it operation get these clients i'm gonna make a list right here of everything i want to do so one i told y'all i want to do the content um putting out more graphic design content put out more graphic design content and that just me also that means on my channel y'all will start seeing more of like brand design videos so like um maybe tomorrow i might start filming one because i want to do a branding design for a bar your girl loves a little drink that's just she but um in order for me not to make it so long-winded i had to pre-do it and then film it if that makes sense so that's a whole nother thing so put on more graphic design content, um, putting myself out there as a designer and have my own agency. Um, another thing, I realized Behance, people be getting clients off of that. So I need to get my, I'm not gonna have a Behance for fits all agency, but I am gonna have uh, a Behance for like myself cause I'm fits all agency. Like I'm the one doing all this work right now. So, um, make a behance and upload projects there before we get to all of that i have to finish uploading um projects onto the fits all agency website because i've i noticed that one thing that happens is i have been networking and going to events and stuff like that and pushing out like our our website and like what i do and stuff to in person but like it's kind of like that's it like i only have a home page which doesn't have nothing but a few words wiggling around and then i have the contact page i don't have or i have the like services page too but i don't have like actual work to show also i feel like work should be displayed on the first page in the first am so i'm working on that so i just kind of want to rejudge the website and have a lot of the work on display like ooh la la like you know so Another thing I need to do is I want to, I have the fits all, I have a fits all agency Google workspace and I'm the admin and right now it's only me as one of the people that hold an email and um, eventually when I get more people working with me and stuff and I actually like hire, hire somebody, I will add them too but I want to create a email that doesn't go to me really because it's a lot like I have like it's I just think it's too much so <laughs> I'm gonna create an email that goes directly to like hi at fits all agency or like hey or like what's up at fits all agency like as far as marketing and stuff still I do still need to get my business cards so I'm hoping maybe I can get them next week when Black Friday comes around and they have a sale so I'm going to make sure I have it ready because I'm going to get them from Moo. And Moo's kind of pricey to be honest, but the quality is there. And they do like all the cool stuff like you can get gold and like uh, kind of like how my nails are when they shimmer like this. I don't know. Can you see the reflection? You can get that on your business card. What else? Let's brainstorm, babe. Um, 
Okay, let's go to. Oh, let me show you guys this website. This um, agency I found. This other agency run by this lady. Oh, it's so inspiring, actually. Like seeing this was so inspiring to me because I was like, that literally could be me. <laughs> um, black owned, beautiful, beautiful work. Oh wait. Oh, this is her, this is her. So cool. Oh, that was another thing. Okay, Pinterest. So, oh, where'd it go? Pinterest, bro. Pinterest is a really good way, I learned, for um, people to grow their business. And I say business only just, well, I mean, maybe you could grow your social media, but I don't think it'll be, like, people don't click to find somebody on Pinterest. Does that make sense? So, but with design, they do using inspiration. They do, like, all that stuff. Done. Okay, so I need to make this all agency a Pinterest. And, excuse me. Let me slow down. Everything that basically I create for Fits All Agency, for me, for anything, I want to be uploading there. I want to start creating boards there. I just want to be active as possible because that is a way to get clients. All right, so honestly, I think this is a good start because that's a lot of work on top of like, I got to actually do this. <laughs> so I think this is a good start. And... Um, less but honestly now the question is where to start with this like what should i start with all right so my camera overheated and um i did do some stuff so i cleaned up the website a little bit just for now but yeah i cleaned up the website a little bit because i realized i was like ah a lot of people are going right now <laughs> and it looks a fucking mess um so, did that, excuse me, if I have a booger, I'm trying to get it together, but, um, yeah, <laughs> let's start the Pinterest page, I guess. Frank, Frank, bitch, up. Frank, Frank, sit down. Frank, Frank, stand here. Frank, Frank, pass up. Frank, Frank, get me. Frank, Frank, baby. Frank, Frank, baby. Frank, I do actually my shake but I literally made my bed to get this angle <laughs> if it's weird we'll, we'll not do it again but for now we're gonna do it so I was making the Pinterest page for this all agency right and I was like something's different so if you're gonna do this idea um because I think it's a good idea to market yourself as a business to be on Pinterest because they have ads every two to three pins <laughs> so like it's a lot but um i suggest to when you go in do a business account like don't even build the personal account just like instantly convert to a business account add the business account up if you want to like follow us on pinterest do that i'll link in the uh link down below <laughs> um 
I'm just gonna spend time working on the pins for the rest of the night and um, uploading stuff that I already have made. Um, I'm not gonna overboard it because then it's gonna probably alert as like a spam account. But I'm gonna try to just, I, I hope you can um, schedule content because then I would just schedule a post a day. Um, but they, Pinterest, excuse me, Pinterest suggested that it's like, Pinterest is a more quality over over quantity type of place rather than TikTok is like, you don't even need to be doing much. Like you can be in the front of the camera posting 10 times a day, just different. So um, this fits me more <laughs> than Pinterest. Uh, I mean, than TikTok obviously. So I um, am excited to really hone in. I've never done this. I've never seen anybody talk about this. Like I literally just tried to look up like how often to post on Pinterest and like for a business and like how to grow on Pinterest for a business and like literally nothing came up but the Pinterest articles. So yeah. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow and tomorrow we'll go in depth into how to do the Google stuff and how to make a Google workspace. It's free if you have a business. Like if you literally want to have like a dot com business thing well, I guess it's not free because you need to have a website, but $7 a year, dang near free. Uh, <laughs> so I'll go through that and I will probably also go through um, website portfolio. Website portfolio, we're definitely going to work on that and cleaning up the files that I have because that's a task in itself. But I will talk to you guys later. Pinterest, Arena, Save, Save It, and just all these other websites for like two or three hours. I'm trying to gather like pictures for like posters and like all this stuff. So I'm looking at all these websites for like trying to get as much images as I can because like I feel like the images really make the branding and stuff. So yeah, yeah, that was tough. <laughs> I did start my course, one of my classes. I bought three classes. They are on sale. And hopefully by the time I get this video video out, it's still on sale. So y'all can get some classes for like seven bucks. Or it's like three for $20, $20 if you do it that way too. Or three for like 14, something like that. And so, but anyways, I started the business course, which is similar to the course I took to start Fits All Agency with Huspa, and Huspa has their uh, freelance and business course that I took before I started this agency, and I did that just to get more insight of like how I should run this and stuff. 
But the, the difference between that one and the one by The Weeknd Creative on, um, what's this place called? Domestica, is that they are really talking about breaking down your business plan. I decided to go over and um, do our brand story and like try to um, write stuff out like our core values and stuff like that like obviously stuff will change like i'm just kind of using um ai like i said to help me write all this stuff but um it's definitely aligned to what i could like what i would what i would want to say and it sounds professional but also like changing some of the words to give a little bit more personality yeah i'm just going through that they get they give a lot of like resources on like things to read like articles to read and stuff like that so i'm not gonna link any of that type of stuff down below just because like they put this together and it's kind of like you need to just buy it what else have i done today i it's hard okay i'm finding this hard to film like because I'm just working on the computer. So I'm finding it hard to kind of film more action stuff. Um, I really killed it with the visuals y'all just watched for sure. But I'm just finding it hard to like really capture how I'm working. And how I'm getting stuff done. And all of that jazz. But yeah, so for the rest of the night, I'm really, or like literally for the next probably like 30 minutes, I'm just gonna spend time finishing up, trying to work on like core values and um, just building like my full business plan. I'm not, I'm done talking because this clip is like, this literally took me 30 minutes to figure out how to, oh, girl. That's so embarrassing. I had one earring in the whole time. I'm just gonna start with um, journaling. That's number one because I haven't journaled this morning. Um, I just kind of been cleaning up the house, getting ready. I made some celery juice, like just real chilling. Um, but this morning, I kind of wanna. It's loud outside. Uh, <laughs> this morning, I just wanna basically 
have a a good work session but try to walk you guys through everything i'm setting up and i'm gonna try to do my best to get this right i promise i've never finished a journal so let's get to writing Operation, operation, get them clients, babe. I checked my email. I told you I was just settling in for the day. Like I just sat down at the desk. I just finished journaling. Check my emails. Form submission. I used to use this method back in the day. Let me move this. I used to. Um, let me. We're a little. We're a little too close. I used to use this method back in the day when I was trying to get like Instagram followers. I would basically like. I'm watching Katrina too. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I would basically go on people's uh, pages and just kind of like, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't spam like, but I would like enough to get some attention. Like, who is this checking out my stuff? And then most people would go to the page and then either follow me. Cause like, if your stuff looks good enough, like people would be interested in like, why are you over here? So that's like a little method <laughs> like i've always done that since instagram has been out but let me see absolutely a million times yes like thank you god oh my goodness babe the way i let, let me just take a moment of silence this is the goal this is the goal the goals are coming to life they're coming to life. Oh my God. This Now this is what I'm talking about. Ooh. And I'm literally just watching. I, I was watching Katrina. I don't know if you guys know her. She's a graphic designer. Uh, she's based in LA now. But she does. She did the branding for Hyper. I don't know if you guys know that beauty company. The skincare company. Um, but she has like this shelf of all like the branding she's done from like her clients. And it's so beautiful and i literally set goals and then i checked my email i love to see it oh my goodness okay we on a roll <laughs> right now i want to take you guys in since i just checked my google email um i want to take you guys into google admin i think that's what it's called i'm gonna show y'all how i set up um an extra like email um for like contact and stuff all right so here's the admin page uh you see right here oh i can i didn't know i can add our logo i haven't been in here since i started the website <laughs> but um let me do that right now because that's easy and basically adding a user is just adding another email but this is not going to be like somebody it's just going to be like a, a contact i'm gonna call it what's up like i'm literally gonna make this name what's Ooh. what's up that's your first and last name uh what's up at fitsallagency.com um it's not an actual person so but like if this was um if this was like an actual person you can like fill more stuff in but i'm just gonna add this new user <clears throat> and then it gives you like sign in instructions with their account and stuff so like if you were setting up somebody like an actual person you could just copy and like screenshot and like send it to them um but yeah say if you were sending this uh you were like hiring somebody this you can send sign-in instructions to their personal email um and then have like all the information with the password 
and stuff like that so yeah and it's and google admin to do like this email thing it's free like you don't pay you only pay for the domain like that's like seven bucks if that maybe five bucks a month so i mean not even a month a year so yeah it's I don't know. I feel like this is the easiest thing to do when starting a business for real. So I'm definitely, I recommend doing this. It just adds a level of like professionalism to your business. I'm so sorry for the alarm. It's like, it's a lot. But I want to go ahead and sent off like a scheduling type of thing and I don't want to pay for it through Squarespace and I also don't know how to like get like clients I, I don't want to go back and forth with clients like hey so when are you available to chat like I just want to be able to send them like hey thanks for inquiring let's have like a little sit down talk about what you need talk about like the capabilities and stuff like that budget all that stuff let's chat right so I want to chat with them but I don't want to go back and forth like can you do this time can you do this time so I'm going to try out Calendly 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 I don't know how to properly say it so <laughs> but I'm going to try it out but I wanted to um just show y'all how I'm setting it up so um I guess this is so annoying like I'm really good at and like tone tuning out stuff but like y'all are for real right now all right so i'm setting it up so that it's custom like calendy at fits all agency cute i like how you can do that we'll add events to nikia oh uh, yes tell us about your role at work this will help us provide to experience i guess freelance consulting What should it be called? Not like, maybe like initial hangout or maybe <laughs> I'm thinking too hard. Okay, so maybe it should be like um, our team is geek. <laughs> no, geek the geek the. Okay, sorry. Um, our team is, our team is ready to, girl, this is why I'm about to get on chat with GBT in about two seconds, because I cannot, like, I'm not good with coffee, like, that's definitely, like, a position I will be hiring for, because, <sighs> girl, I'm getting on chat GBT, I can't, will be, or, there, this is where I insert that in. Well, this is exciting. Our first consultation typically involves discussing um, the client's visions, goals, and expectations for their, I'm gonna say goals, budget, because definitely talking about that, and expectations um, for their brand identity. Saving clothes, period. I wish I can add like all my calendars. I'm just gonna have to add. I'm just gonna have to put in stuff that happens on like my work calendar and my like personal life calendar into this one into my fits all agency calendar so that if people like if I have stuff going on, I don't want like I don't want anything to happen. Oh, now look at this. Somebody wants to switch me tomorrow. And then let's see how it redirects. Period. Ooh, that is clean. Now let me go check my personal email. <laughs> Gee, that's another thing. 
I need to figure out why my email per specifically is not like my uh, fits all agency is coming off as like a spam. Like, chill on me. Okay, let me try to send this off. I will come back to y'all when I am doing more of my business work but i'm gonna focus on my nine to five for a couple hours a reminder that i should just i really should keep going with this it was a reminder that i'm on the right track that i'm listening that i'm being faithful and like what a potential client is starting at two o'clock um i'm about to pray and get ready for this meeting, my dream client. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.